So, when I was streaming earlier, I thought I had a short on the extent a column wasn't working. Um, good news is, I figured it out, and I got rid of it, and it just took a little bit of, um, a little bit of playing with it. Uh, first I thought it was, so it was the whole column, and also when I plugged it in, it was going nuts, and it, it was very clearly the alt key. Uh, that was pressed the whole time. So I knew it had something to do with the alt key and the whole column connected to the alt key wasn't working. So he's keyboard tester and every time I plugged it in, that whole column would turn red. The alt key was going crazy. So um, I checked all the solder points and they all looked fine, including the alt key. Uh, I didn't touch anything I wasn't supposed to. So first I unscrewed all of the stabilizers because I thought, oh, maybe I'm shorting somewhere and it's somehow bridging. I, that didn't make sense, but I, I did it anyway. I unscrewed all of them. That didn't make a difference. Then I unsoldered, I unsoldered, desoldered the alt key switch, pulled it out, and inside the switch, the leaf was bent uh, and it was actuated. I've never seen that before. Uh, seems pretty rare. <laughs> um, so I tossed that. I, I swapped the body of the switch for another one. Resoldered, it's working, which is great because now I don't have to worry about the fact that the whole PCB might be screwed up. So this is all soldered now, and now we're gonna try plugging or we're gonna try screwing the um, everything but that one corner uh, uh, stabilizer back in, and see if we get any shorts on the stabilizers. That one I know is going to short because it shorted the very first time I plugged it in. So that one definitely needs a washer. But I think the other ones uh, would probably work. So we're going to try it. This one I'm a little nervous about right here. This is the left shift, but we're going to give it a shot. Love this key. Love this screwdriver. Love it. So good. This is the ES120. But... As I said in my previous stream, it um, the one that I got sent, the sensor in it is backward, so when you're supposed to be tightening, it's loosening. It's supposed to be loosening, it's tightening, so I am going to, I have a uh, replacement coming. But uh, in general, it's pretty cool. So right now I have to keep reminding myself, go left, there we go. Okay, so I've screwed back in those two, and we're just gonna test real quick to make sure that that doesn't short. <clears throat> and if those don't, if these don't short, then I will just leave the one screw out uh, on that one that I know for sure shorts until I grab a washer for it. Okay. Cool. Those do not have a problem now. And now let's do the one half of the one that I know shorts, and I think the other half will just leave for now. Cool. And I'm wondering if my dumb idea from before might still work actually to avoid that short. I thought I thought it wouldn't, but now that I'm looking at it, if it's just the one, also I don't need the soldering there anymore. If it's just the one, I'm betting this rubber tape will actually solve the problem. So let's give that a shot one more time. So this time I'm gonna do a slightly different strategy, which is I'm just gonna place this directly over uh, where are my tweezers? <laughs> yeah, my desk is a disaster now, so that's good. All right. Just gonna place this little, huh, where'd you go? It's 
got a little static in it, actually. I'm wondering, I can't remember what I bought this for, but this might not work, but let's see. I could have sworn this is just rubber, but I'm gonna place this over that pad entirely. Like that. And then I'm gonna try to screw this in. Gently, gently now. Try to get it close and then really push this strip. Oh, you know what? I got an even better idea. I'm gonna take this strip and I'm actually gonna cut out just a tiny bit so it can actually sit under the screw head all the way. I don't know if that's even. <laughs> Let's see. If... I don't. I'm never gonna get this to focus, but here. Ooh. So it's just a little tiny triangle of rubber tape, and that's just gonna sit right up under the screw here, and just block this pad, just like that. We're not going to use the electric screwing action for this because I want to be gentle. Maybe? Let's give it a shot. I guess we'll know if the... Uh, LED lights turn on because that was what was completely not working before. Wow. That's a pretty serious short. Jeez. Okay, that's going to need a washer. Okay, well, that's worth a try. Which one's worth a try? Not going to do it. Need nylon washer for that. That's fine. Just have to type without hitting backspace a lot. <laughs> Truthfully, that tape might be the issue. It's not electric tape. And I have electrical tape somewhere, so um, I will find it and solve that later. We don't, it doesn't matter. Let's try. Oh, darn it, you know what? I don't think I had my surface. I thought my surface was on. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wow, impressive, impressive. Impressive skills I've got. Oh, my reasoning is really up there with, and I of course dropped the little thing. All right, oh no, it's on my finger. Try one more time. This time we'll actually test. Although, I wonder if that, I think that would have worked. I think that would have worked with the surface off if I plugged it in, I'm pretty sure, but we're gonna find out. All right. This is the last try. Ultimately, this doesn't actually matter that much. A washer will completely solve this problem, but. Okay, let's try it again now that we know the surface is on. Does it work? No. No, it doesn't. And I'm stuck on close up again. I'm the worst of the cameras. Sorry, it doesn't work. Okay, so that is not enough to stop that bridging from happening. Now, realistically, the moment that this comes loose,
screw out. Just hopefully we don't lose it. Get rid of this rubber tank. Okay. That's it. Let's put the thing together. Because otherwise we're working. I tested all the switches. They're good. Let's put the actual case together and put some caps on. the top. So we go like this. Okay. It's odd that there's no... Oh, there is. Okay. It didn't look like there was a screw hole in the middle. But I only have four screws. Is there no screw hole in the middle one? There is. Why was there no screw there? Oh, maybe that. Maybe that's from. Oh, let's see what happens. All right. I need a different bit here. These are all hex screws. Are these magnetic? No. I really dislike that. the desk. Two different heights available to us, feet-wise. I think it's, I don't remember what the exact degrees are, but I'm not quite sure which would be better. Let's see. Let's just give this a shot. Be a little harder test. I feel like this is probably too high. Yeah, that's too high. Let's go lower. All right. Screws. Okay. So we've got five feet screws and four case screws. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. I guess we're gonna just do three into the feet, I suppose, instead of five. It's a little odd that there's five holes. Okay. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't ultimately matter. It's just a little. Oh, you won't even see it anyway because this is covering those holes, so it's fine. It's just strange. Why? Why drill five if you don't plan to? Now, because my polycarb is not cracked, I'd like to keep it that way. So I'm going to try to be really careful here. Uh, 
I'm not going to use the auto screwing feature here just because I don't want to go too far and accidentally break these. So I'm just going to loosely get them in and then make sure that this is seated correctly because it's a little bit. I want it to be in its groove. Do not over tighten. Good. Okay. Now. There's solder all over the thing from when I was desoldering. That's great. This goes here. to be reaching me. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna take a close look here and see if I'm doing something wrong. I do not appear to be. Oh, it just needs to be pushed down, I see. The problem with polycarbonate is like it, it bows. Just get all these in here first. I guess the nylon on the N65, M65A also bowed. It's, it's hard. All right. I'm not getting. Feels like the back ones went in. Nope, that one didn't. New. No. Okay. What's going on here? I feel like there's just a. Uh... First of all, what I'm gonna do is steal a piece of foam here, so I don't ruin this. I think we just need to push this down more to get it to actually. Okay, what's going on here? Wait, is that in? No. What's going on here? I mean, there's like... If this, I see, this just needs to be pushed further into the polycarb. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Screw does not want to find the right spot. All right, it's the old, does this screw fit into the screw hole test? We're gonna pull this out of here. Oh my God, you're not even gonna believe why this is not working. That is, I could, I thought they were the same hex size as the others and it's just, dark enough in my point of view where I thought I was screwing and um, the bit's too small. Yikes. That is not smart. Let's find a bigger one. Genius. So this is why you record these builds so that it's forever noted that you don't know how to use a screwdriver. 
See, anybody can do this. Anybody can build custom keyboards, because if I can do it, and I don't know how to use a screwdriver. There we go. Yeah, and then it of course works just fine. Genius. I am a genius. Okay. Let us plug it in. Actually, let's just in case. We're gonna plug it into the surface again. Just the surface is like if something goes wrong, it won't matter, but the PC that I was about to plug it into is the one I'm streaming on. So I don't want it to like start sending weird keyboard commands and stuff if it's short. So let's give it a shot first here. Okay, seems good. I'm just gonna open up the keyboard tester. Just make sure these are working. Mapping is a little off, but that's fine. Okay. Here and just make sure boot member can still connect to it. Success. Let's turn those RGBs back up so that we know that. Ooh, nice and bright. Beautiful. It's lovely. Let's turn them up uh, even more. Is that maxed? Are we maxed? Okay, we maxed. Started to tell him this what's maxed. Okay. Let's actually do a little bit of a test of animation. It's all the colors all defaulted to like totally random versions of white. Like white, gray. I've never seen it do that. Let's make sure these can all speed's a little insane. If you ever need a helper, okay. You should know that I'll be there. So that's working. Nobody else can love you better. Just set it to static so you can just test that they're all working in different colors. That's good. Okay. for what I'm going to put on this thing caps wise just change some of these colors a little bit here it's odd there um All right, you know what? Let's just make them solid for now. I just, I'm more concerned with just making sure they work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
Alright. Cool. While I'm in here, since I've got the boot mapper open, I'm just gonna also fix the keys that are not correctly mapped. Which is the I think it's the default hex that somebody provided was set for Should be alt. Left alt. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I really don't like boot mapper at all. I gotta fix this. Okay. Left alt. And this guy goes to left GUI. Okay. Now. Those were good. What's this set to? Function. No, 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 no. That's left control. Thank you. Okay. And this is left shift, but this one's coming in as well. Okay, right shift. It was left, right down, up. What is this coming through as blank? Okay, that's right alt. We're just not gonna have a right control, that's fine. Where are you? There you are. Right alt. And this is This is right GUI. Right alt, right GUI. Space. Left GUI. Left alt. Left control. This guy should actually be. Okay, so this is backspace. And this guy is pipe and slash. Backslash. Okay, this. Backslash. Return. Shift. That's correct. That's correct. This guy is escape. Except the way that I use keyboards, for me, tilde is more important here. And we put escape on the layer. And for that, we're going to use this guy, which is function. And function goes to. Damn it, these are all set to apply to all layers. That's so annoying. Uh, that's fine. Function, do not apply to all layers. This guy is now escape. Good. Back here. Reboot after uploading. Upload. Go. Thrilling. Tester. Here we go. Now we got tilde. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, dash equals backspace tab. That's left control, left shift, left control, left alt, left GUI. Let's just make sure the alphas work. So far, so good. 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 Good, good, good. Return. Tell me. I still is reporting as left shift, which is odd. And no, I don't want sticky keys. Thanks. Space. Left GUI. Left alt. Right. Or left, I should say. Up. That's function, which means this should be escape. And it is. And then these three actually didn't set. So let's go back to boot mapper. And uh, let's do, I shall do this later, it doesn't matter. 
I don't know why this one reports as left shift. It's definitely set to right shift. I mean, ultimately, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. We're good. That's it. Let's put some caps on this thing and call it a build. Move some of this crap out of the way. Disaster averted. I thought the, uh, the thought the column not working was going to be a real problem. I'm really thrilled it was not. It was a minor inconvenience that was pretty quick to fix. Generally speaking, whenever I have a problem, oops, whenever I have a problem like that where the uh, um, key doesn't work, the very first thing I do is just open that keyboard tester app. Just tap every because it'll show you the. Um, codes that are being fired by the keyboard. So like in this case, I could see alt was being fired and a bunch of other keys were being fired. So I knew it had something to do with alt. And then I just start desoldering, basically. Desolder the switch, I think it is. The next one, the next one, the next one. Gotta save the screw so I can fix that stabilizer. And now, let us put on some caps. I think we're gonna go with this is Max Key Berserk. Is it Berserk or berserk -er? I think it's Berserk. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not the quietest. Not the quietest. Man, this return key is really poorly done. This is the problem with max key. Is focus, you bastard. <laughs> I like how it almost focuses every time. It's a little hard to see, but that's not a fully punched double shot. That sucks. That sucks. Do I have a well, I have a white return key I could use instead potentially. I wish it actually had Alright, well, that's fine. We'll come back to that. Let's see here. You know, even though this isn't gonna be a tr control key. Are these uni is this uniform three? No. Let's see if I had like a row one or whatever this is, row two key that might be nicer than putting in. Nope. Alright, caps lock it is. We'll use uh, a novelty for menu. Wait, is that novelty? Yeah, okay. Actually. Yeah, I don't want to use red novelties on the left. I don't like... Sworn I had a Kira logo, or a, I guess it's this is the designer's logo. I thought I had one. Oh, that's a single. It's a one U. So that's fine. okay. Let's do backspace. I'm not keen on the dagger as a backspace, which was an alternate key for this. That's not really my style. So we'll just use a regular backspace key here. 
destroy the stems on these. Max keys are loose. These are like just going right onto the switch with no. Oops. Ah right, man, these are these are poorly made. Ah oh, Jesus. Max Key, get your shit together. Yikes. The double shotting is terrible. All right, I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think this might not be a good idea to put these on here. I mean, at a distance, you can't quite tell as easily, but man, they do not look good. The double shot in these numbers is terrible. Like it's not a complete shot. So they're all thin looking. So good. There are people saying they don't like them. People are nuts. Now these are the wrong. But that's hmm. I don't know if I want to use yellow arrows, but. an arrow key. I think I accidentally uh, flipped one off the desk earlier. Oh no, I didn't take it out of the box. Genius. Okay. This return key is poor. Oh well. Also, I don't know. I wish I had a red return key. Like this set came with a white return key as an alternate. But that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess it, that, 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 that does make sense, actually. What am I thinking? All right, let's do that instead. Yeah. It has a white. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't have it. Oh no. It doesn't have a white backslash. You gonna make me use a red backslash? You bastards. Damn. That's frustrating. Prefer, I prefer, oh my lord, I'm sitting on <laughs> the number of times in the stream that I've sat on the uh, the uh, close up camera accidentally, sorry. Um, I prefer to have the color, see, I would actually prefer this would be a white key as well. Why Max Key? Max Key doesn't get my vote. Ugh. All right, well, no choice now. I like the color of the red here. Like the colors, the red and the yellow are good, but man, that's that's not so great there. Like the texture of these keys, eh? like a matte finish. I thought this was supposed to be the same mold that Signature Plastics used to use, but the edge of these keys is different. It's uh, squarer. It's not as spherical. No, that's not the right word. It's not as. I don't know. Something's not right here. 
I should look at my other Max Kies. I only have one other Max Kies A set that I also have not used yet. Yeah, that red color is so good, though. <laughs> well, the keyboard is sitting next to me. It's carbon. And now, looking at the orange, compared to this, I, I sort of like this red better than I like the orange, but man, the carbon caps themselves are so much better. If that double shotting is really good, because it's signature plastics versus max key, but. I'm on autopilot, and last time I was on autopilot doing this, I accidentally put, the keys weren't in the right order in the uh, tray, and I didn't notice for like a week. And I looked down and was like, wait a second, that's not. Fun part of this is when I'm gonna have to reference this video to figure out which switches were the ones I left Telios on so I don't have to take all these caps off when I replace those stems and springs. Feels good. It's very red on the stream. It looks like candy red, but in real life, it's actually uh, darker. It's a that the white balance here is not treating this very well. Let's see here. What should we put on the side? I think we're gonna do. None of these are gonna match the. Uh, oh, jeez. Strange. Okay. Do delete next to the backspace. Um, this is a function key, but of course, max key for some reason doesn't have function. Which seems really strange. So let's just do uh, page up. Great, and of course these aren't gonna these aren't gonna match. Yep, that's annoying. Uh, yuck. How bad is this one? It's... Ugh. Um, hmm. This is the dumbest part of keyboards. It's like finding, just picking random keys for the inevitable, like profiles that don't work and stuff. It's just so silly. This bothers me. I wish this was white, and I wish this was white. And this is gonna drive me insane. But I don't really have any, I don't have anything that can match this. I could put page down here and page, oh, okay, 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 hold on. I see, I see what we can do. It's gonna be a lie, but that's, always the case with keycaps on keyboards basically is that they're never accurate for me anything outside of the default keys that never change from board to board but these that'll match and this will match at least the profile matches got some so i got some lube on the aluminum there when i was when i was flipped over that's gross and now we just need a what is this I think this technically matches, so I don't, it's, it's good enough. Yeah, cool. It's not true. It's not what it is. I want what it will be, but it doesn't matter, because honestly, I might just turn these this entire row of keys off, 
because I find them distracting. Or I might make them literally like, this is backspace, this is uh, uh, backslash, this is return, and this is up. Or actually, this is function, so. Alright. Put these back in here. Where did I throw that foam? I feel like I just heard myself roll over it. I did. It's a good sound. Okay. Let's plug it back in. And try. Typing on. Well, this this uh, cord custom cable works for this color wise, pretty much. That's close. And upside down, it is. It's very deep in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. All right, let's uh, open the text editor here. Tell you what, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to pause Spotify. We're gonna bring this mic down so we can hear what this thing really sounds like. Let's see if that's a little. So, spacebar, pretty rattly. I'm gonna try putting, I'll try putting some foam in the key cap itself. See if I can silence it a little. But the rest of it, that are large well these are all on these are all on uh, telios I don't not like the sound of that at all but these those sound good that sounds bad it's pretty good It's really pretty. Like I like the way you can see the accent on the PCB shining through the plastic there. Looks really nice. It's like a nice subtle edge glow there. Front edge has a nice glow to it, which looks really neat. It just has a really nice, it just you know breathes that color out right here very subtly. A little bit of a backsplash here of color. It's very nice. Nice and heavy. Feels really stable. It's good. It's pretty good. All right. Next the accent. That's the accent. So, things learned while building this board. Screw and stabilizers if the board is poorly designed. It could be a real problem. Um, Focus on it a little bit. I'm gonna bring this light down just so you get a better, better idea of what this looks like. Um, right here, let's try to get a the color of these 
caps is not really being captured particularly well by the uh, cameras. They're not nearly that vibrant. Um, they're kind of a dull red. So it's, it's actually a really nice red. Um, let's, uh, let's switch to, hold on, let me, um, let me turn this down a little bit. Sorry, I'm wearing shorts, so enjoy that. Now this camera is set to auto, so it may. Oh, that's a little. That's very much. That's a lot closer to what it actually looks like in person. Um, still, it's still a deeper red, almost more on the burgundy spectrum, without actually being burgundy. Um, yeah, feels real nice. A nice, nice heft to it. Feels extremely stable. Um, I'll try to silence this spacebar, but that's a. That's a forever issue with every single build, basically, is that the space bar is the worst part of the build. Um, yeah, so the screw and stabilizer is going to be a problem. Definitely going to start switching to nylon uh, nylon washers for all the stabilizer, screw and stabilizer, because there's no reason not to do it, and it should resolve that problem. So this whole board was fine, except for that one, the one on the backspace where the s stabilizer hole is against it, it it's like a venn diagram against the uh the pad for the foot and the minute the screw touches it it shorts the whole board which i don't actually quite understand to be honest um because i would expect it would just short the backspace key but it, the whole board doesn't function when that happens so i don't know but it should be fixable um and then there was a, I had the one problem with the leaf in this key, which again, I've never seen, but thankfully it was just a leaf problem. The switch replacement solved it. And um, yeah, and this this guy is cool. This screwdriver is really neat. Well, it really flips out. The OLED uh, flips out, but uh, this is really neat. And once I get one that actually turns the correct way, since when I turn this left, it goes right, which makes no sense. This is neat. That actually was, it was fun to use, and honestly, I think it's worth it if you're going to build a lot of stuff with small screws. So that's cool. So um, that's the XN. Next time, we'll take the Centrax 60 PCB, which I've used several times, and we will have an adventure with these guys, hole tights, which we're going to jam into the pads and see if we can make a hot swappable board that we can put into a lot of suspense. The now dusty Kleep case, which is just a big heavy brick of aluminum, black. Um, let's get the mechanics logo there which is hard to see but um just a nice solid heavy block there's no backlighting so i can fill this sucker with foam very sound dampened um and i've got this awesome very very beautiful pvd coated brass plate for it so that will be the next thing that we do i think and then it's going to be waiting for the M M60A when that arrives. And um, so yeah, a couple of builds. This is really neat. I'll take some photos of this and clean up these streams. Uh, it was a fun build. It was really simple other than that one silly problem that, you know, again, poor design and whatever. It's not a big deal. It's pretty neat. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.